For today's video, I have the whole family here. We're gonna have some fun talking about vans. More important, transit vans. Well, you know that this lady, my wife, Rachel, <laughs> we went and bought a van a couple years ago. Now, she's gotten it some of the time and I've probably stole it more of the time. Yeah, he says it's mine, but I think you drive it. Like I think I do drive it a lot more because it's so cool. Like when I first got it, it wasn't that cool looking. And now it's really cool because I've put bigger tires on it and done the suspension and the camera and all the cool stuff. You originally didn't want a mid-roof van though. No, because I feel like it's just too big. It just, I mean, it looks like the Amazon van. It's just bigger. That van's at your, you love that van. It's know, at your house does, every day. It does come to the house a lot, but I don't know if I want to drive it. Okay. <laughs> but Can't win. You can never it. win. Yeah. I think they love the most because it does have features like the power sliding door, which we have the barn doors on our van, which are really nice okay. because the kids this can is what open them. When you do a video with the kids. I mean, this look. This is our life. Welcome to our life. This is why we need a giant van. Is we have yeah, because I want to put them all the way in the back so I have like two rows between us and them to keep it quiet in there. We need that little limo window. Though. I know we need, yeah, exactly. That would go up in there. <laughs> With all of that being said, <laughs> if you don't know, if you've never seen this van, we've done a ton of videos. I'll put a link and even a card up. We'll create a whole playlist of all the stuff that we've done to this van. This new van is really cool and it's got a lot of cool features. And I'm going to tell you what is my favorite feature in just a minute, but down. Let's go check this thing out. Come on. I do really like on this van, and I know that you haven't even had a chance to use it yet, Rachel, um, is the power sliding door feature that this has. And yeah. what's nice is I can just pull it and it this will- This is perfect for like the grocery store. Cause you know, like us moms trying to open up our car door, they're gonna bang it into other cars. So this is perfect for the kiddos to get in now. This is well, definitely one thing I did not like about the white van. And that's what's nice is I you can even spider. open this door with the remote control. Ah, All right, fancy. guys, I'm one step closer, one step closer. <laughs> the next thing that this has, which are pros and cons to it, the con being that they get really hot. The pro is this has the leather seats. I do notice, especially with the dog hair, our Ford dog, this is a, we have a Ford problem, I think. <laughs> but at least with the leather seats, you would be able to wipe them down. Or if they like spill or something. It'll yeah, be a lot so that would be something that I think is a lot nicer. Now, of course, you have the ability, even I now, when I get in here, I can stand up. Come on, Kira. Kira gets to come check it out. All right. So this is Kira's first time seeing this van. <laughs> Yeah, you're definitely crouching down. So um, I know another thing that Kira would probably absolutely love is it has USB charging right there at the seat. So does this row and this row and this row. So all one, two, three, four rows have USB charging at the seats. So that's pretty rad right there. Actually, I'm not gonna care. Well, I probably will, because it'll keep the kids quiet. This has the step on here, but what it doesn't have is the step here. Now, granted, we have put a five inch lift kit on this van. We're running a 265, but what I'd like you to see is how much easier it is to oh, get yeah. in here oh, and then like you can go check it on the driver's side. So I think that that's one thing if we oh, did get this van, I think I would want to, you want to change out the I would steps. want to put the steps on it. Yeah, I do like that it's wider. So I would like to have a wider sub like that because this one is a little bit. Yeah, but you can't have both. Oh. See, the problem is, is so let me close this. So what I don't like is you can see how's that, you know, I mean, and I guess I'm being picky. You do notice the step a little bit more that, versus you when it. you close this step, you oh, don't yeah. notice it at all. So I do it, like how it tucks underneath. It gives like, it a little bit cleaner appearance yeah, I didn't notice that on before. there. Now I think as we move to the back of this, let's talk about storage. Cause that's really important. 
Now, when we got this van, Kylie was still in a car seat or in a this, stroller. Yeah, we still had the big stroller. So that's why we took out the other seats. So we took out the to back row here. Let me. My Costco runs, my stroller, all the things that we were going to need. It's great for when we go to the beach, the boogie boards. Everything fits back here, tons Everything, of room. Yeah. When we come look back here at this one, this is what originally it had. And it's like, oh, yeah. There's absolutely no space for this. So I don't know. I mean, enlighten me, transit family. Uh, <laughs> where do you put your stuff if you still have this like back row? You, like a lot of people use these to travel. And it's like, well, how do you travel? Then where do your, your suitcases all go on the roof? Or I don't get I how... mean, that's what I'm curious. Yeah. I mean, even these if I had a stroller, like where do you put the stroller at? Yeah, these would have to go. Because even how I like on the other transit van, you can the side we took the side seats out right so we could use the side as like storage as well or change the baby's diaper or whatever yeah. we need to this one there's no no good we'll take this yeah so there. that would be definitely something that we would have to do is get rid of the back row i mean i really like the way that this looks lifted now of course there's certain things i'm like yeah i like the color i mean i really like this gray color that ford does and i think that i like it a lot better with the windows tinted now that's a lot of like the small things. Let's go inside and check out some of the um, electronic features that this van has that you get in a lot of the new vehicles, which is really cool. One of the things that we were talking about, not only on the key fob, mm -hmm. can you open the door, but what is really nice, I think, is like dropping the kids off at school. Yeah. You're able to just open the door and close the door with, oh, that is cool. with the push of a button. So what is really nice about that is the kids can actually open and close it because mm -hmm. it doesn't take much power. They're not having to actually slide the door yeah. open there it, because it is that power assist. Um, now, one thing that I noticed that I've never had in a vehicle that I thought was really cool was the cruise control that as I approached another vehicle, it actually slowed down the vehicle and then the car got off the freeway and it sped back up and I'm totally drawing a blank on the name of it um, but I thought that was something else that was really nice as well now we did upgrade the stereo I know you weren't like the biggest fan of the transit stereo yeah but now this has like more of all the new yeah. stuff that's in it the touch, um, screen. the touch screen the kids love the navigation they like to be able to watch the road for some right reason. it does have all the apps you can control everything through the connect through. your phone with the bluetooth the one of my favorite things about this is she doesn't going to care about this but this does have the 3.5 liter eco boost oh, yeah. um that twin means nothing to me. twin turbo <laughs> engine um no, i will means, say when we test drove it when I got on the freeway and I had to hurry up and pass somebody, like, it does get it. Yeah, it, it, it definitely, it doesn't drive like the white Ford Transit. No, it, it de definitely goes. It definitely, like, scoots. Yeah. It, it picks up. Now, this is just still a two-wheel drive van. It is not the all-wheel drive van, but I don't know that that's something that's super necessary, but, but I, I mean. But I feel like when you have a nice van like this, would you really need four-wheel drive? Like, you're not... This is like the limo. This is like the Cadillac of vans. So would you really want a four-wheel drive? No, well, four-wheel drive is a little bit different than the all-wheel drive. You wouldn't be taking this out in the dirt, I don't feel like. This is too nice of a van. Well, I mean, you definitely the have the ability to do so, but yeah, guys, I mean, I guess if I was going to choose a van to go off-roading in, you I'm taking choose, my Chevy van. Yeah, you wouldn't choose the all-leather, nice black friends. It's just, it's too nice. What is she saying? She's saying my Chevy van isn't nice. All black well, leather. That one's more nice like wheels. the monster van. Oh, This is oh. like the cruise Cadillac oh, family okay. van. Gotcha. So <laughs> I think that it is nice. I mean, it is, it's definitely different having all the yeah. additional room in here we as well. Have way more room to walk back to the kids, put them in the car seats. Yeah, I definitely think but I would. But is it really that like necessary for the extra cost to be able to stand up in the van? Yeah, that's the thing is and like... And it feels bigger. When you drive it, it actually feels way bigger. Like when you're turning, you could feel that it is taller. So I guess that's a big question is like, is it worth spending an extra fifteen to $20,000, yeah. you know, to have leather seats? All right, so out of the white van and the gray van, which one do you like better? I like this van. 
All right, and what is it about this van that you like better? I like how when you, that the kid can open the door and it just slides on its own and it closes on its own. That's my favorite. That's your favorite thing? All right, awesome. Now, Kaden, how about you, bud? What is your favorite, which van do you like the best? Um, I would say this one. I like the electric door. I like how I can stand up. And then I like, I like how it's like the, it's like the newer, like, dash. Yeah, it is neat how it, I forgot about that. It does have USB and 12 volt up oh, on the okay. dash as well, which is pretty cool. So you think it looks nicer up here? Yeah, and then it has a screen. Because it has more bells and whistles, so you like it better. What van do you like the best? Um, that's hard for me because I like the look of the white transit van better because it's smaller. And this one's a lot bigger, but it is nice having a tall roof. And I know Kylie likes being able to plug her iPad in. <laughs> yeah, Kai, no. what do you, Kai, what do you like about this van? I like this one. Yeah, how come? Yeah. Well, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> do you like the white van? Yeah. Yeah, is that your favorite? Yeah. Yeah, all right, awesome. What kind of van is that? Oh, Jesus. I don't know. You what know. you know? What kind of what van is, is that? that? The transit. The transit. Yeah, you always say how much you love the transit. So I'm going to agree with Kira. I think that the, the normal roof van lifted looks so nice i think that this is like i think with the lift on it it starts getting a little more proportionate but i love the way that that van just looks i think it looks better than this van hmm so many choices well, i think it no comes down to money which one do you want to which cost this one costs more yeah than the white one and that's the thing like van prices are crazy so then to get a van like this i mean it's like you know that. could be sixty five thousand dollars and do you yeah. really want to spend that do you really want to spend sixty five thousand dollars on a kid's soccer mobile no i want a, <laughs> i want a new mustang gt500 anyone have one you can bring one to me and i can drive it i'd really appreciate that you, you brought mama. Here. But, all right okay all right if this is the baby's leg let's see if it would run the baby's leg over this will be the deciding yeah it would just smush her oh leg gosh. Yeah. Yeah, That's like bad. I feel like for a family van, like Ford should have thought about that. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, because now we're having a child screaming because their leg. Yeah, their leg is, is in the in door. There. So if something's even like in the door more. Oh, like in the track. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, but it just keeps trying. Yeah, it kept trying to close. I don't know if like Kylie's arm was in there, like if it would stop before yeah, it was like. Yeah, that's not good. As much as I like that, I'm not sure. I just all of a sudden now no longer like the sliding door. That's bad. Now like, I wonder. Now we broke it. So I, that wasn't much force and it did stop. Yeah, but if a little kid's arm is just, if a baby's yeah, trying to get Yeah, they're not going to be. They're not going to know to like push it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't want to try it out. Yeah. <laughs> Kai, you want to put your arm in there for me? No. no. Okay. Kai says no. <laughs> Kai, put your arm in? No. Okay. She wants her arm still. It's going to come out. Boy, you, I don't know. Like, yeah, I know. Um, something to think about. I don't know. Just made me think about it. Yeah. I mean, I, I do think it's really nice but I don't think it's necessary for the extra money. And I do prefer to drive the white van. I really do. After I drove this one, I was like, eh. Yeah. I like my white Ford Transit better. But I think uh, you like this one. I do. I like all, like, how cool. I mean, I love the gray. I'm not going to lie. I love the gray. I like. You like the seats. I like the seats. Like I like some of the little features of it. But is it necessary? Like. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, guys. I don't know. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys out there, tell me you have a mid-roof, what you love about it. What am I missing out on? Of course, I don't have, you know, I've only driven this a handful of times. Um, so, I don't know about it enough to be like, yeah, it's not my van. So, I can't really just go get nuts and crazy with it. But sure does look really nice and maybe it just looks nice because we put a five inch weld tech designs lift kit on there um, and that's why i love it so much but uh you got the whole johnson family in here on this one 
Thanks for them to come in and hanging out with me to walk through these things and try to help me decide what to do. Do I keep it? Do I get rid of it? I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything we talked about or give me your 10 cents, I would love to hear it. Put them in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm Jeremy from Well Tech Designs and I'll see you in the next video.